Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to machine polish at home safely and correctly for beginners. I'm going to show you tips of doing this, the best product to use on the car that I recommend. Um, it makes it easier for the job to be done correctly. So let's get into the video now. So the machine polish we'll be using today is the one from Halfords. Um, comes with two of the bonnets included in this, um, one for the application, one for the polish. Um, it's a reasonable price for anyone. I will put a link in the description of the price of this, but it's not a lot of money and it's great for anyone starting out. Um, obviously, 3200, which some of these machine polishes you can get that are a lot more powerful than this. So this is a good one if you're just starting out and you're scared if you're going to damage the, the paintwork or anything, because this one is obviously not as fast. Um, so it's good for waxing. Obviously if you've got really deep swell marks, you might need a bit more of a powerful uh, polish, but to be honest I think you can get away with this if you're using the right type of um, products for this, this type of application. So let's get into the box then. So inside the box you get your two bonnets, um, one for application, one for polish. Um, make sure these are clean, you don't want no dirt on these, any dirt is going to cause more swell marks, just try and keep them off of, you know, off of the bench, this could be dirty, you know, try and keep it clean. And obviously we've got the machine polish itself, so we'll get this out of the box now. So basically that's what it comes like, in the box. So you've got your, obviously this is what you fit the bonnets too. Um, yeah, pretty easy. You can see this is like a softer material, it obviously fits over it. You've got your cable and you've got your on and off button. Pretty simple to use. You can change the positions as well. So let's plug it in and let's go through the step step obviously of using this machine. So before I start using the machine polish, I just want to show you the product that we'll be using today. It's the Meguiar's 3 in 1 Wax. Um, I will do a video review on this at some point, but definitely highly recommend it. It is expensive, but you pay for what you get with this because it does everything. You don't need no cutting compounds or anything to get swell marks out before. You can actually use this once one type of polish does everything. It tells you on the on the obviously on there what it does. Removes swells water spots and blemishes so yeah it does give you a long lasting I use this on all my vehicles and yeah it, it the finish is brilliant and also because of it being more of a liquid type wax it doesn't dry and give you the flaky sort of um, white dust from a normal polish so sometimes if you polish a car you get like the, the white dusty stuff left over and this leaves nothing like that, literally easy to put on, easy to take off with hand as well. So if you wasn't confident with using machine polish, highly recommend using this as well by hand. So let's get into it. So I am in the garage today to do this. Um, it can be done outside, but obviously the weather in England is not always great and it's raining right now, so we definitely can't do it outside. But I have hand polished and done machine polishes outside so you can do it on your driveway, so it's not a problem. So if you haven't got a garage, you just need to wait for it to be dry and you can use this outside. So obviously the first thing you'd want to do is wash your car. I'll put a link in the top to show you the video to show you how to wash your car outside properly. So you can do that, so make sure it's all done. The other stage I'd recommend you need to evaluate the, the surface of your car. Obviously mine is smooth to touch because it's uh, been clay barred already, but what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below for a clay bar kit to get and all you got to do, I'll, sh I'll do a video at some point showing this but I haven't created one just yet but basically just spray on the detailing spray, get your clay bar and you do it in sections and then you'll feel if it's smooth. You always want to do this before you machine polish really because what happens if you don't you're going to put the contaminants into the bodywork and this will just cause more swell marks. So yeah, once your car's all prepped and ready to go, you can start your machine polish. So I'm going to show you that now. We've got the machine polish plugged in and our application pad fitted. So 
couple of tips. You always turn it on when it's on the bodywork. Never do it. You turn it on like this and put it on, you're going to have problems. You never do that. Because you can get the cable stuck in it, you, it's going to bounce off the car. You're going to just turn it on without, obviously, that being on the bodywork. So, you get your polish. Shake the bottle well. Shake it well. And what you want to do, this first step, what I do is get some of the polish on there. Quite a bit of it. And just sort of rub it into the, massage it into the pad. This just gives it a bit of lubricant to the pad, because obviously this is a dry pad. You want to make sure it's got some lubricant. So what you do, now, once you've got that, just do a cross. You don't need a lot of this product. To be honest, you can work in pretty well with the body. Now with a wax, you want to do a half a section at a time. Another tip, keep this over your shoulder at all times. Otherwise it's hanging around, it's going to hit the paintwork and damage the paintwork. Keep it over your shoulders. So what you want to do is mark out the area. So you do you do a half, you want to do about that much over at a time. No more. Just do one section at a time. So, put it on the car, turn your polish on. So what I want to do is put this into the bodywork, so you just give a base of it first. So we'll do that, turn it on, just work it in. Work it into the body. If you obviously take it off when it's spinning, you're going to get all the wax fly out everywhere. So once you've done it a base layer, now you want to work it in. So you, can, you want to go like a cross hatch motion to work this in. So you put it back on the paintwork, and you don't need to move too fast with this. And don't put no, you don't need to put no pressure on it. Just let the machine do the work. The machine's got a bit of weight to it, and that's enough for it to. Put the product into the car, so we turn it back on and we just hold it and we just work it slowly and move it along. No rush, and move it up to the body work and then again come across. So just slowly move it. as easy as that. So you've worked all the product in, you've done your cross hatch motion. Now, with this product, this is why I recommend it. You can leave that on and get onto the other side. You don't need to take that off yet because it won't cure and it won't bake onto the paintwork that you can't get off. And this is also another reason why you don't do it in direct sun. Do it in a shaded area. Always do your machine polish in a shaded area. Never do it in the sun. But with this product, it's very easy to take off anyway, so we'll do the other side and then we'll show you how to take it off. So we finished the machine polish of the first stage of getting the product onto the car with the application pad. Um, 
we'll give it some time just to dry a little bit and then we'll take it off of the polish application um, so yeah as you can see in my video it's quite easy to use anyone can do this to be honest um, don't be scared to use a machine polish obviously the bonnet area is quite a nice straightforward area to do obviously if you would want to do you know the side parts of your cars and all these you know parts of the body you could do it with a hand you can do some hand and some machine but yeah just don't be scared to use a machine polish the, the main tip is don't need to put any pressure on the machine polish you just let it do the work itself it's got a bit of weight to it so it will put the product into the car the right amount and obviously with the one I've got the Halfords polish machine it's the spin on it is only 3200 it's not as powerful as some of these machines out there that the obviously the professionals use this one's more for at home it's definitely easier to use for beginners so what I've done I've put my the polish one on there so yeah it's a nice super soft one to take that the polish off the car um, so we fitted that make sure it's clean there's no dirt or anything so I have I actually machine washed these after use anyway but yeah make sure it's clean so let's get into taking the product off the car so we're going to use our polish one to take it off uh, typical sun's come out now so there you go UK weather for you one minute raining next minute sunny which is not great for decaling a car but obviously where we do our cars at home we have to do do it in the real world with all the elements so it's the same again put it on the bodywork now with this one just take your time to take all the polish off just use the whole car over the whole car same motion up down up down and then you can go across after also if there's any left over you can go with a uh, cloth so i'll show you the machine push first and we'll see if there's any left over that we need to do with the cloth It. we were finished with the machine polish now so I've got a torch with me and I'm just gonna you know go along and check the finish of it so yeah no swell marks great finish to the car it's paintwork with this polish obviously my car is pretty clean um, but what I'll do at some point is I'll get a car that is more dirty than mine and use all these techniques on that to show you how it's done but yeah great finish so yeah all the swirl marks gone so what you can do now is you can get yourself another cloth which is a Meguiar's one um, really really good these are so you can just all the corners some of the corners you can find that may have some obviously residue left over on the edges so what you've got to do is just go over and um, just get all the product off everywhere. Um, pretty straightforward really. And then that's it. That's the finish. 
So that's all you do. So that is basically how to machine polish for beginners. So we've now come to the end of the video. Hopefully the content in this video has been useful and now you are confident to machine polish at home. Thank you for watching.